Welcome to Intercraft channel. In this video I'm going to share with you the photo engravings I have done so far with Atomstack R30 module on business cards, stainless steel sheet, copper sheet, tile and slate. According to Atomstack, R30 module is an infrared laser with 1064 nanometer wavelengths and a circular focal point of 0.03 mm, effective on metals, plastics, stones, and more. R30 laser head is 70 times 70 times 165 mm and fitted on most of the Atomstack laser engravers. Check the list under this item on the website. Theoretically, it should be feasible to use it with the other brands. It is just a matter of just a JST socket and corresponding wires. Check with them if you are considering buying it. On my X20 Pro, I should only remove the M100 laser head and replace the mount rail with the one provided with the R30 module. The only difference between these two parts is the side screws for fixing the R30 on the rail to the X carriage. So slide down the, the module and use a foldable gauge at the bottom of the laser head to set its height from the engraving surface. For other models, there is another adapter. Thorough explanation with figures are found in the user manual delivered in the package. Our 30 module comes with an extra power adapter and circuit board. You should find a place to fit it on or to the X carriage and then connect the cables as given in the manual. I thought it's worth designing and 3D printing a part to contain the circuit board and all the wires. This adapter has big opening which let the fan to blow even more than the original. The lid has room for four round magnets of 6x3 or 4mm for holding it in position. The link for getting the steel files of this design is given in the description. Now I'm ready to give it some tries with some examples. First set is on anodized aluminium business cards with 0.04mm line intervals, 635 dpi. The ether mode is Jarvis, a speed of 3200mm per minute and 95% power. Photos with different distribution of shades of grey are shown here. Then it comes to this motorcycle first with 0.04mm and then with 0.02mm, 1270 dpi. The quality of 0.02mm interval is that much high that one may imagine it has been printed on, very high and good quality. For comparison I have put these two next to each other, very smooth shade and even it has captured very tiny text on the front wheel. Here I have listed the parameters settings for both tested line intervals. Green text are the parameters for 0.02mm interval. Our 30 module can leave very dark marks on the stainless steel, both good for sketches and photo engravings. I've got very good engravings with 0.02mm line intervals and newsprint as the image mode, two-dimensional and even an image with 3D filling. Here you can see the list of the parameter settings for the photo engraving on stainless steel. This is the same image you have seen a few seconds ago on a copper sheet. It has turned out beautiful with Jarvis and 0.2mm line intervals. It was not easy to find the right settings for copper because it reacts with R30 module differently. I was needed to run it slower than the other materials. It could be due to a high dissipation of heat in copper. The next example is on tile with NWT technique. Engraving on tile with NWT is quite tricky, not just in terms of finding the right settings, but also prior preparation, type and thickness of the paint, and the application process. 
what you see here is on a 150 times 150 millimeter tile the segments are four centimeter each and as you can see R30 was able to engrave very well and also able to capture very tiny details here is the list of the parameters for engraving on tile even R30 was able to engrave photos and sketches on slates very nicely just remind you that these are untreated slates no varnish, no paint the markings are with high contrast comparing to the color of the slate the whole engraving time is higher with R30 first due to small size of the focal point which most of the engravings are with high or very high DPI and secondly due to the nature of these tough materials for a 2 watts laser if you're wondering how you can find the settings for other materials or even if you are not able to get the same results as shown in this video try the test on episode 3, 4 and 6 of this playlist link is in the description of the video as well and double check different materials with different properties may engrave differently pay attention to the last parameter on each list the levels it's very important to set it accordingly unless find its base on the episode 4 of the shown playlist I use GIMP for setting the levels first set the image in grayscale find it under image mode grayscale the option for setting the, the levels is under the colors menu and levels when engraving on dark surfaces which becomes lighter after engraving invert the image first then apply the levels as I have done here for engraving on business card I hope you liked and enjoyed this video and see you another time